Hello and welcome to the public library Petar Preradovic. This film was made as part of the Erasmus Plus program, by which we wanted to present our library and programs to our colleagues in Lithuania. Bielovar is a small city in central Croatia, not far from the capital city of Zagreb, with over 40,000 inhabitants. In 1765, the city was founded when the Empress of Habsburg, Maria Theresa, issued the first construction permit. One century later, public libraries in Croatia began to develop. They mostly evolved from the 19th century Astro-Hungarian officers' casino reading rooms. Thus, the public library Petr Preradovic is considered to have its roots in the casino reading room called Casino Veren Bielovar, established by the officers, probably in the early 1830s. Our library changed its name numerous times throughout history. Finally, in 1968, our library has been given today's name, Public Library Petar Preradovic. The library is located in four different places and has several departments. First department is the Department for Adults, a central space for borrowing books and learning basic information. You can freely go to the library shelves and choose among fiction and non-fiction books, biographies, DVDs, audiobooks, board games and so on. Here you can relax, read books and work in teams or by yourself. But if you need a quiet space to study, we have a place for that as well. The Science and Research Department is a place where you can find all relevant and current science literature for studying and research. You can also use our collection of scientific periodicals. If you want to get to know the history and culture of our city, you can go through Bielovariana, a local collection of rare books, music and other creative works about our local community, works of local authors and books published in Bielovar. Our library is proud to support the creative works of local authors. It's the starting point for studying and exploring our town and region. In the evenings, our science and research department transforms itself into the place for cultural events, like book promotions, concerts, lectures, workshops, etc. The children's department and playroom is the second location that provides educational, recreational and cultural resources, primarily for children between 0 and 14 years old. It has a large collection of picture books, storybooks, non-fiction books and multimedia materials. In addition to the reading area, the children's department has a computer corner, a playroom and a multimedia corner. The third location is in the nearby plaza called Nova Racha. Here, library members can borrow books and receive basic information. It's a space with a reading room, a children's section and a corner for preschoolers. The mobile library, on the other hand, provides a literary service to some rural areas in our region where there is no static library. There are 46 stops along the country. Our bookmobile is one of the few in Europe that enters the prison yard and provides services for inmates. The first vehicle for the needs of the mobile library was a van that officially started operating on October the 20th, 1972. Now, what about our programs? There's always something for everyone. One of our most visited programs is the TEDx event. It's a local gathering where live TED-like talks and performances are shared with the local community. Our library has been licensed to hold these talks since 2017 when we organized our very first TED talk. For the elementary school students, we have Spika Onica, a theme-oriented debate program where they can have a discussion on a particular matter. Depending on the theme, we cooperate with doctors, physiologists, psychologists, kinesiologists and other experts in certain fields. For a few years now, we've been running a once a month game of Dungeons and Dragons. D&D is a pen and paper RPG. A single player plays as a dungeon master, creating a world that the other players interact with. And how do we motivate and help young adults? Well, with Creativa, the program created as a support to young artists. We are offering them a space to exhibit their work, we help them in the process of setting up exhibitions and linking them to media in order to become more visible in the local community. These are just some of the programs that we build and grow together in order to encourage the development of our local community. We strive to make our library a focal point of the city, a meeting place, a place for learning, reading, cultural events, and spending quality, leisure time together. Thank you very much for watching and listening to our video. Have a lovely day!